Hi and welcome to the part 3 of video on operating system interview questions and answers from careerright.com. What are the four layers that Windows NT have in order to achieve independence? The four layers of Windows NT are hardware abstraction layer, kernel, subsystems, system services. How does NTFS recover from a crash? An NTFS system recovers from a crash by accessing information from the created log records. The first step is to redo operations of committed transactions and undo the transactions which could not be successfully committed. How effective is the recovery of NTFS file system from crash? Although after recovering from a crash, the NTFS file system might not reflect the same user data as prior to the crash, but it ensures that the file data structures are undamaged. It restores the structure to a pre-crash and consistent state. What are the benefits and losses of placing the functionality in a device controller rather than the kernel? The benefits of placing the functionality in the device controller are 1. System crash due to the occurrence of a bug is greatly reduced. 2. By the utilization of dedicated hardware and algorithms that are hard-coded, the performance can be improved greatly. 3. Since the algorithms are hard-coded, the kernel gets simplified. The disadvantages of placing functionality in the controller rather than the kernel are 1. Once a bug occurs, it is difficult to fix. A new firmware or revision may be required. 2. For performance improvement of algorithms, hardware upgrades are required rather than a device driver update. What are the merits and demerits of systems supporting multiple file structure? The main advantage of having a system that supports multiple file structures is the support for it is provided by the system itself rather than any other individual application. Since the support is provided by the system itself, the implementation is much more efficient as compared to application level. A demerit of such kind of implementation is it can increase the overall size of the system. Also, since the support is provided by the system, an application that requires a different file type may not be executable on such a system. What do you understand by transaction atomicity? The transaction process can be considered to be a series of read and write operations upon some data followed by a commit operation. Transaction atomicity means that if a transaction has not completed successfully, then it must be aborted and any changes it made while execution must be rolled back. In absence of the concept of atomicity in transaction, transaction that is aborted midway may result in data to be inconsistent as there is a possibility of two transactions sharing the same data value. What is graceful degradation? It is the ability to continue providing service proportional to the level of hardware. Systems designed for graceful degradation are called fault tolerant. If we have several processors connected together, the failure of one would not stop the system. It would just run a bit slowly. This increases the reliability of the system. What is a loosely coupled system? It is also called as the distributed system. It consists of collection of processors that do not share memory or clock. The processors communicate through high speed buses or telephone lines. It can be a system which is centralized where the server responds to client requests. It can also be a peer-to-peer -peer system. Explain SMP. SMP refers to symmetric multiprocessing. Each processor in it runs an identical copy of the operating system. These copies communicate with one another as needed. These processor systems lead to increased throughput. They are also called as parallel systems or tightly coupled systems. What is DLM? It is a service called as distributed log manager. In cluster systems, to avoid file sharing, the distributed systems must provide the access control and file locking. This ensures that no conflicting operations occur in the system. Here, the distributed file systems are not general purpose and hence require locking. Explain the handheld systems. What are the issues related to them? Handheld devices are palm tops and cellular telephones with connectivity to a network. These devices are of limited size which leads to limited applications. 
they use a smaller memory so the operating system and applications must use the memory efficiently the speed of the processors is only a fraction of speed of the pc processors and for faster processors larger battery is required these devices use very small display screens so reading emails and browsing must be condensed to smaller displays what is the use of device status table this table provides the device type its address and status it is required to keep a track of many input output requests at the same time the status of the device can be functioning idle or busy if a device is busy type of request and other parameters are stored in the table entry if more than one processor issues request for the same device then a wait queue is maintained how can the speed of interrupt driven input output systems be improved direct memory access is used to enhance the speed of the input output systems buffers counters and pointers are set for the devices the device controller transfers the block of data directly from own buffer storage to memory the data is not given to the cpu for further transfer between cpu and input output device or cpu and memory only one interrupt is generated per block then one interrupt per byte which enhances the speed explain the positioning time for a disk it is also called as the random access time used by a disk to perform operations it consists of time to move the disk arm to the desired cylinder called the seek time and the time required for the desired sector to rotate to the disk head called rotational latency seek time and rotational latency is always in milliseconds list out some reasons for process termination some of the reasons for process termination could be normal completion time limit exceeded memory unavailable bounds violation protection error arithmetic error time overrun input output failure invalid instruction privileged instruction data misuse operator or os intervention and parent termination what is time slice the timer in cpu is set to interrupt every n milliseconds where n is called as the time slice it is the time each user gets to execute before the control is passed to the next user at the end of each time slice the value of n is incremented and the record is maintained it also maintains the record of the total time user program has executed so far this method helps in time sharing among the various users explain pcb pcb also called as process control block is also known as the task control block it contains information about the process state like new ready running waiting or halt it also possesses the information regarding the process priority and pointers to scheduling queues its counter indicates the address of the next instruction to be executed for the process it basically serves as the storage for any information that may vary from process to process what is cascading termination if one process is terminated and its related processes are also terminated abnormally then it is called cascading termination it occurs in the case of parent child processes if the parent process is terminated normally or abnormally then all its child processes must be terminated tell us something about ipc ipc inter process communication helps processes to communicate and synchronize their actions it needs the processes to share a common buffer pool and code for implementing the buffer it is useful in distributed computer systems where communicating processes reside on different computers connected to a network what are sockets a socket is defined as end point for communication it is made up of ip address chained with a port number they use the client server architecture what is a loader and a linker a loader loads the program into the main memory from the storage device the os transparently calls the loader when needed a linker links and combines objects generated by a compiler into a single executable 
a linker is also responsible to link and combine all modules of a program if written separately what is dirty bit a dirty bit is a flag that indicates whether an attribute needs to be updated it usually occurs when a bit in a memory cache or virtual memory page has been changed by a processor but has not been updated in the storage what is page fault what happens when it occurs when the page requested by a program is not available in the memory it is called as page fault this usually results in the application being shut down what is multi programming in multi programming several programs run simultaneously on a single processor although in reality there is no real simultaneous execution of different programs it gives a sense that they are executing simultaneously due to the part by part execution of all the programs what is multi processing in multi processing one or more programs are run by more than one processors what can be the reason for process suspension some of the reasons for process suspension can be swapping interactive user request timing or parent process request explain turn around time and response time turn around time is the time interval between the submission of a job and its completion response time is the time interval between submission of a request and the first response to that request what is cycle stealing cycle stealing often occurs in the context of direct memory access or dma dma controller can either use the data bus when the cpu does not need it or it may force the cpu to temporarily suspend operation the latter technique is called cycle stealing cycle stealing can only be done at specific break points in an instruction cycle tell us something about arm stickiness if one or a few processes have a high access rate to data on one track of a storage disk then they may monopolize the device by repeated requests to that track this happens with most common device scheduling algorithms like lifo sstf c scan etc usually the high density multi surface disks are affected by this then low density ones what is a trap and trap door trap door is a secret undocumented entry point into a program used to grant access without normal methods of access authentication a trap is a software interrupt which usually occurs due to an error condition